We have today a presenter, uh, Tom O'Karma, who trained here, MD, PhD from Stanford, was also uh, faculty in the Department of Medicine, and he's the CEO and president of Geron Corporation, which is a very exciting company doing tremendous things in cancer and also in embryonic stem cell research and therapies. So what I'd like to do today is talk a little bit about what it took for us to cross the hurdles and traverse the headwinds of getting through the FDA to start the world's first human embryonic stem cell trial. Uh, we've been criticized for being cowboys. We've been criticized as being too far ahead of the science, read academia. Um, and so I'd like to share with you some of the data from the IND to give you some comfort that we've turned over all the stones we could think of so as to first do no harm in this groundbreaking um, exercise. The first thing I should say, though, is that Geron is more than embryonic stem cells. We are really two companies under one roof. The core competence of the company is telomerase biology, and that actually has informed both sides of the organization, telomerase being a validated cancer target. It's the mechanism by which all cancer cells escape replicative uh, mortality. So we have developed a telomerase inhibitor drug, which is now in six clinical trials in 22 U.S. medical centers, and a telomerase vaccine that's in a phase two study in AML in six American medical centers. Now, the reason I mention that is that, quite honestly, this side of the organization is way ahead of the stem cell side. And that has informed the investment thesis for Wall Street into Geron. So today's story really begins one day before my birthday this year in January, when we finally, after eight months of haggling with the FDA, reached clearance to begin the world's first embryonic stem cell trial in acute spinal cord injury. This was obviously a tremendous milestone for the company, for me personally, and we hope for the field. Um, it was the product of a $45 million, 22,500 page IND and it took the agency eight months to really get through it, to answer all, for us to answer all their questions, and to gain clearance to begin the study. All of the cell types that we inject in animal models, and in this case into people, are progenitors of the final differentiated cell type. We allow that terminal differentiation to occur in situ after delivery, because these cells are plastic. Well, I'll show you data that supports the notion that they amplify numerically, they divide after we inject them, and they migrate within the lesion, which is exactly what you want them to do. They essentially think they're making a new myelinated spinal cord. And that's the secret, if you will, for all of this approach. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.